Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I wanted to start off by doing a kind of talk through. I haven't done one of those in a while. And I had a really cool request. It's kind of like a how to take care of your false lashes to get the most uses out of them. I'm gonna show you guys what are some of my favorite lashes, the way that I take care of them personally. Hopefully what works for me also works for you. Let's get to it. So I'll start off by showing you guys my favorite lashes. The first one is House of Lashes Iconics. These are very full, very long, very dramatic. They get the job done. They are absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, these are a brand new pair. I haven't even cracked them open. And ooh, I can't. I feel like you can't really go wrong with these. Like you can wear no shadow and put these on or you can wear like a dramatic look and these just complement it so well. These are House of Lashes Iconic. The next lashes that I want to talk about are by Coco Lashes and they're called Queen Bees and I have them on my eyes right now. I actually came across these because I follow Katie or Luster Lux on Instagram and she's also on YouTube. These are some of my favorite lashes because they're wispy, they're not too full but they're just enough. They're long but they're chic, sexy, daring. I'm just reading the back of the box here. <laughs> And this box is pretty banged up because these are one of those pairs of lashes that I've worn them like 13 to 15 times already. I mean, I've taken pretty good care of them. They still look good, so yeah. The next lashes that I'm gonna show you, I'm not actually gonna show you because I don't have any right now, but I have the box and they were so good that I don't care if I don't have any, I'm gonna tell you about it. The brand is called Salon Perfect and they're number 614. Five pairs of lashes in here gone. These are the lashes that I used in a recent Instagram picture. I'll put it right here. I got asked a bunch of times what lashes they are and these are the ones that they <gasps> Oh my god. I just noticed how horrible my nails are. Hold on a second. All better. There's two things that I hate more than anything when I'm watching a YouTube video. Chip nails. It's like, girl, get it together. I would be like, oh, I could never. I just did, but I'm better. The second thing that bothers me is when people show their armpits. Like, I don't like armpits. I have a thing with armpits. I hate armpits. When people's armpits enter their video, I'm done. I'm done. Click X. I'm out. <sighs> now that that's out of my system, nails are done. Armpits covered. Let's continue. So those are my three top favorite lashes currently. And the best part about it is that all three of them are really great quality, great lashes, and inexpensive. The Iconics, these bad boys right here, 12 bucks, 12 dollars. Lashes go for like 30 bucks sometimes. Let's look up the Coco lashes. I think that they're even less. <laughs> $6.99. $6.99. They're cheap, but they're not cheaply made. They're great quality. Same thing for the other one, the House of Lashes. The Salon Perfect, the pack of five, I think, don't quote me on this, I think I paid seven to $10 for five pairs of lashes. Yeah, that one was a good deal too. Now moving on to lash glue. My absolute favorite lash glue. I don't think any other lash glue can touch it, honestly. It's the same company that the Iconics are from. It's House of Lashes. This stuff is super glue for your lashes. If you don't want your lashes to move all day, the only downside to this is that it's so good that it's hard to wash off. It really sticks to your lash line, but I will take hard to wash off over my eyelashes falling off any day of the week. Like, look, look, I'm pulling it, nothing. Oh my God, imagine it pops off, I'm done. So now I'm moving on to how I care for my lashes. When I'm done with my makeup, the first thing to come off is my lashes because I want to make sure that they don't get any oils or anything like that on them. I wanna keep them as long as possible and I don't want them to get yucky. The way that I remove my lashes is from inner corner to outer corner. I honestly don't even know why. I don't know if that's the right or wrong way to do it, but that's the way that I take them off always, inner corner to outer corner. This is an old lash that I didn't clean purposely for this video. So as you should be able to see, there's little gunks of glue left over here. All I do is after I take it off, I gently, you just with my fingers, hold it on the end of the lash and very gently just kind of pull and pick the glue off of it. That's all. 
I make sure that I'm gentle enough that I'm not gonna rip the band. Some of them are really, really delicate. And if you rip the band, you ruin the lash. So yeah, so look at like this little gunk of glue. I'm out of there. Until the band looks almost new. What I do is then I just take the lash and I put it in its original box. I just stick it back in the box, leave it there until the next time I need to use them. Every couple wears, I'll take like a Q-tip, a little bit of soap on the tip and just kind of rub it around the band just to clean it up. That's it. Also, my big tip to you is always apply mascara before applying your lashes. If you apply mascara to your falsies, it's going to make them gross and just clumpy and they're already nice and beautiful and long and thick and black. You don't need mascara on them. Put mascara on your lashes just so that they blend better with your falsies. And then once you have your falsies on, just leave it at that. Just leave it at that, girl. No more mascara. Calm down on the mascara. Leave it at that. So that's it. That's how I take care of my false lashes. And if you do it that way, at least I know when I do it that way, I get at least a good 15 to 20 wears out of each pair of lashes. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Go check out my Instagram, Michelle Marie Makeup. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon.